Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel or if you're new here. Hi, my name is Lexi and today we are continuing Ahsoka episode 2 part 2 uh, toil and trouble. So last episode we got introduced to the main characters of the story and this hunt for Admiral Thrawn and also Ezra. So in a quick little recap of what happened in the last episode, Ahsoka found the map to Thrawn and Ezra might be there with him. So Thrawn's death in the battle that took place, I don't know when the battle took place, was it in close to Order 66, maybe? Um, but there's it's been rumored that his death wasn't made final or something like that, so he could have escaped in his exile or whatever. But Ezra might be with him. Sabine was able to crack open the map and was able to figure out the symbols, and it was basically like a weird alien Rubik's Cube, I guess you could call, call it. <laughs> and she was able to open up the map. But um, Shin, which is Balin's apprentice, tracked down where Nabeen was staying at and stabbed her and took the map. So it will be in the hands probably of Balin and Elspeth, who are also, I guess, tracking to find out where Thrawn is or keep his identity hidden, something like that. So Ahsoka, Yu Hong, and hopefully Nadine, if she survives in this next episode in part two, they will be after the map and will come head to head with the other group that is Elizabeth, Balon, and Shin. So that's kind of where we're left off at in the last episode. Going into this one, I am super excited. Last episode we had a lot of like classic cinematography of Star Wars. We got the animatronics, we got the props, we got the settings, we got the costumes, we got the dialogue. So many throwbacks to a lot of like the Clone Wars and the Rebels, which I don't understand, but I know that they're, they're there because of a lot of like stare-offs and standoffs and a lot of like armed dialogue, something like that, where the sentences are short but there's a lot of meaning and a lot of emotion and a lot of history behind it. So um, I wish I knew what it was, but at the end of the day, I wanna stay pretty in the dark when it comes to the series, just so I can be surprised all the way through, you know? And also not get a lot of things spoil spoiled for me if I end up watching the Clone Wars and Rebels in the future. So, but uh, besides that, going in completely blind like this with just like, knowing a little bit of background knowledge of the characters, it's still very entertaining and fun to watch, I will say. So I'm excited to jump into the second episode. But before we do, make sure to give this video a like, comment down below, especially in this video, uh, please help me out with any lore, with any Easter eggs, and with any information that's super important about the characters and about the plot moving forward so I'm not kept in the dark on a lot of things. Like I said, I want it to be spoiler free, but if it helps specifically the Ahsoka series, I would love to hear your thoughts. I would love to hear um, any information that you have on any characters, even the background characters that look familiar or uh, that only have a certain smidge of dialogue or only in one scene. Uh, if you know the lore of it, let me know. And of course, subscribe to the channel to stay up to date on videos like this one. I will be posting my weekly reactions to the Ahsoka series, but if you want to watch this video full length unedited, as well as early access to my Ahsoka reactions before I, I post them to YouTube, my Patreon link will be in the description below, tiers two and three. All right, so without further ado, let's jump into episode two, part two, Toil and Trouble. Can uh, Ahsoka sense this? Sabine. The droids. They took the Matalaks. Oh, that's right. That droid's a doctor. Galaxy. Where did the path in our galaxy begin? They took the map before I could decipher it. <laughs> it better not be Tatooine. <laughs> did you keep a record of what you found? The droids destroyed it. Ah, so that's why they destroyed like the panels and all that stuff over there. You need my help. No, you've done enough. Was that like a, you've done enough? Or was that like a, you've done enough, you're okay. Ooh, <gasps> whoa, I'm gonna go back a little bit. Yo, look at this. <gasps> look at those trees. Mm, maroon colored trees and like a black 
rock island cliff thing. That's so sick. Have we seen that before? Oh, this looks pretty familiar actually. Have we seen this place in like the Mandalorian or something or something similar? Never mind. <laughs> it looks similar, but I don't think it's the same place. Why is he not with Elspeth? Ooh. Thudding. Mm. Better I believe we have located the reflex point on Cetos. Cetos. That sounds like a place in Game of Thrones. Cetos. Jesus, music kind of sounds like Targaryen Game of Thrones soundtrack thing. <gasps> Ooh, has she seen this? Oh, what? Where did that droid come from? I was hoping you were still here. Oh, mm, look at the color contrasts. Like I said, um, I don't know if it was last episode, but- As long as you didn't short out its capacitors when you sliced it up, I- Is that Planet Lothal, like their buildings and stuff, everything's so clean and pristine and white. And then you see the contrast with Sabine here and her, her colorful like character and design. That means they have several built in backup systems. And as a result, its memory core stays partially active even after termination. So what happens if you get the power levels wrong? The head will explode. Perhaps we should perform this operation somewhere else. <laughs> because you're a hologram. <laughs> uh oh. I'm pulling the plug. Oh, wait. Oh no. Did she get it still? This droid came here from Corellia. Corellia. New Republic shipyard. Morgan Elspeth had factories on Corellia. Hmm, Elspeth. Her Imperial operation should have been dismantled after the rebellion. Anyone check on that? I'll meet you there. Let's get going. No, you need to recover. I'm fine. Yeah, she's fine. Take her with. We need to help each other. You heard her. She doesn't want my help. Yes, yeah, she does. <laughs> Show me what you found. This place was not built by the Jedi. Whose work is it? Did the Sith build it? An ancient people from a distant galaxy. Oh, witches? <gasps> Whoa! An ancient galaxy, that's where Thrawn is? Interesting. Whoa! This looks incredible. Yo, this that is incredible. Is our destination. Our Grand Admiral Thrawn is banished. Yeah. Pathway to Peridia. Pathway to Peridia. I feel the path forward is clouded. The threads of fate do not lie. Ah, so that line is a thread? A thread of fate? The Eye of Scion is on its way here. Make sure that everything is ready for its arrival. Marok will complete his task. See that he does. The Eye of Scion. Is there another ulterior, ulterior motive? Alternative mo motive that Balon has? What happens when we find Thrawn? For some, war. For others, a new beginning. And for us? Mm. Power. Such as you've never dreamed. Okay. That's why why he's in with it. So Katano, this is Min Weaver, regional supervisor. Min Weaver. All the same. We'd appreciate a look at her former facilities and operations. Well, I am quite busy at the moment. I could make this a more formal inspection if you'd like. <laughs> Do the facilities still employ any of her former staff? Of course, there's no other way to remain operational. Mm. They have loyalty so long as they're paid. There's some half truths in that. <laughs> my, general. my loyalty is to my investors. Hmm. I'll leave the politics up to you. Interesting. But I'm not buying it. I was wondering if you would consider bringing her back on as your apprentice. Oh. She's not ready. <laughs> She's not ready. Ooh. What makes someone ready? Yeah. You just know. Someday. Do you? Hmm. I see you still have your lightsaber. Ezra's lightsaber. True, he constructed it, and by all accounts it served him well. Then he passed it on to you. So it is now your lightsaber. Well, Aww. I can't train if Ahsoka doesn't want to teach me. That is an excuse. And a poor one. <laughs> hey, she doesn't want me back. She wasn't even thinking about me. To be fair, you have never indicated that you wanted to come back. 
True. I never had the talent. Not like Ezra. That much is true. Okay, rude. I have never read any Padawans over the centuries, and I can safely say your aptitude for the Force would fall short of them all. Whoa. The only time you are wasting is your own. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh, what a pretty shot. This facility has produced nine of these new models. Hmm. The New Republic, the class of starship are they for? Uh, let's see. She's really grilling in him. Classified. <laughs> I'm a general. Nothing's classified to me. Mm. Uh-oh. What other types of droids do you have in operation here? No HK class? Assassin droid. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. I have he hesitated there. I got to <gasps> inventory on arriving transports. Oh. Where is this droid now? I believe it is departing on that transport. <gasps> Okay, we gotta follow that ship. <gasps> oh, I was not expecting that. Holy. Yo, go, Ahsoka, go. <laughs> oh my god. I was not expecting her to just jump out the window like that. Is that, uh. That's Maron, former Inquisitor. That's why the saber hilt looks the way it does, I think. Oh sh Oh my god, 2v1. Oh my god, it feels like I'm flying with them. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Keep your lid on, Chop. Oh, the droid's name's Chop. Sick. Okay. 1v1, baby. Let's go. Ooh. <laughs> His hands. <laughs> he has so much sass. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Is it a boomerang saber? It comes back to him. <gasps> Creepy. I'm surprised she didn't jump on and like try to fight them more. Now, Chop. Nice. <laughs> I love it. Good work, Chop. You got him. Dude, Chop's kind of my favorite droid now. We got a tracking device on that transport. All right then. That's her Mandalorian armor. There it is. Ooh. So she really is a Mandalorian through and through. What an interesting character. She is so sick. That armor looks so cool. And it matches her hair. She's gonna cut her hair? Ooh. New beginnings. It's an Asian symbol, I think. I didn't know th that Mandos did that too. She cut her hair short. I like the long hair though. But it is supposed to symbolize like new beginnings, a new path, shedding the old you. I'm ready. She cut her hair to how it used to be. Oh my god, she looks like the animated character now. You're ready when you're ready. They'll know too. Time to find him. Is there a romantic spark happening? Is it okay to ship those two? <laughs> okay, she doesn't look exactly like she did. Nice haircut. It's more me. I don't know. I think the long hair looked really cool with the different colors. The transport was traced to the Denab system. It has remained in orbit around the planet Cetos. You better get moving. Okay, so they're gonna head off to Cetos. Calculations are complete. You may proceed. Take us out. Mmm. Padawan. <gasps> wow. Don't 
That is so cool. That, I almost, I'm like really emotional now. <laughs> I don't even know their history and I'm like, what? Soon the Eye of Scion will be complete and we shall deliver Grand Admiral Thrawn from his exile in the Fog Galaxy. The appearance of Ahsoka Tano on Corellia troubles you. Her presence in the Force is elusive. And her determination is vivid. To kill her would be a shame. Hmm. So Sentimental. Truth. Truth. Balin's a lot more of a complicated character than I thought he'd be. Very interesting. Hmm. There you go. That's it. Okay, you guys. So that was part two. Um, episode two, Toil and Trouble. And it was a little bit shorter than the previous, the previous part, part one, but I enjoyed it just as much. There was a lot of times where I was concentrating and not talking as much, but I love to see the step that Sabine is taking to become a Padawan again, making that decision for herself to not stay stagnant and, and needs like direction, needs structure, like uh, the commander said as well as Ahsoka. They are very, very similar together. So they're, they're similar in that they tend to like do their own thing. They're really troublesome, but I think like it's, I wish like, I mean, I want to go back now and watch like the animated series to see like their relationship dynamic and how they worked back then, because it was definitely hinting a lot about how similar, similar they truly were and how cool of a, a Jedi and Padawan duo that they were. And yeah, so I'm excited to uh, continue with this series and see kind of their relationship and maybe it will hint the past a lot, but also, you know, build a stronger alliance between the two. Elsbeth and like her gang are now heading off to the pathway to Paradia, or is it Cetas? Maybe it's pathway to Paradia to find um, to find Thrawn. And so they're waiting for the Eye of Scion to get complete to be able to track him or get to him somehow. Um, and Ezra might be there as well. And then we see that Ahsoka and the commander and Sabine are uh, placed like, well, the commander placed like a tracking, well, to be fair, Chop was the one that placed the tracking. Uh, the tracking system on them, but the commander and Sabine and Ahsoka are on their trail right now. And so we'll probably see at the end of the episode here, Balin was saying like, it'll be a shame to kill her. Uh, so we're definitely going to see a battle between Ahsoka and Balin, and then a, probably a rematch between N Sabine and uh, Shin. So that will be an interesting fight if they're gonna like go head to head at the same time or like what's gonna happen there. Uh, and then there's also the Inquisitor that's in the picture that can fight as well. So maybe the Inquisitor is gonna be matched up with the commander. I don't know, throwing it out there. That'd be pretty intense. So yeah, the story is just full throttle each episode or so far with these two parts. It's like going, going, going. Uh, this like rat race to get to who's gonna get to Thrawn first, who's gonna stop whose tracks, but it seems like the Eye of Scion is super important to be able to get to him. So we'll probably have to need the help of Elsbeth and like her team to get the Eye of Scion ready to go and get going. Uh, and then hopefully Ahsoka and them can stop them in their tracks and, and use it instead to get to Thrawn and Ezra. I believe like this series only has eight, six or eight episodes to it. So it's going to be interesting to see like what's going to happen when they do come face to face with Thrawn. Is it going to stop? Like, is the series going to end there? Like, is it, are they thinking of a season two for Ahsoka? Let me know in the comments below uh, if that's speculation or if it's been confirmed that there's going to be more seasons um, specifically focusing on Ahsoka. I would love it. She seems amazing. She seems like one of the coolest characters that Star Wars ever had, <laughs> to be honest. And the the depth within the, these core characters is very interesting. Obviously, they have the lore from the animated series, but it's it's interesting to see them see like Star Wars characters that don't just have one identity, especially with Sabine, who's a Mandalorian and a, and accepts being a Jedi. 
and like seeing how that works, it like really makes the franchise seem more appealing, I think, doing it that way. And of course, Balin. I think he's more of like a rogue Jedi than he is a Sith, right? Let me know more about Balin too, because he wields like a red saber, but the way he speaks and the way, like, from what I know, his philosophy, I, I don't know if he's, is he like full Sith? Because he seems more like a rogue Jedi to me, but I could be wrong. Very great part two. Even in it's in the short amount of time that this episode had, they were still able to like expand more on this plot and expand more on the characters and ha have wiggle room to make the sudden jump of Sabine going from like not accepting the Jedi way anymore to now being recruited as a Padawan again. Uh, it didn't feel rushed to me. Maybe it felt rushed to you, but it didn't feel rushed to me. And having it all done in one episode is pretty good. I think that's that's an accomplishment in itself. So yeah, uh, I'm excited for next week's episode. I'm excited for episode three and uh, see where it goes from here. All right, guys, um, I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. If you liked it, make sure to give it a like, comment down below and subscribe to the channel to stay up to date on videos like this one. If you want to watch this video um, full length unedited, as well as uh, early access to more of my reactions to Ahsoka on the series before they get dropped onto YouTube. My Patreon link is in the description below, tiers two and three. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.